Hello everyone, welcome to the, to the next episode. Oh, in this episode, if you're wondering why I'm having Siegfried uh, attacking every Pokemon around me, I was getting ready for this episode and a Rockruff decided to attack me, so I'm clearing them out. So, we just came from the Academy and you're gonna notice this black crystal. It looks like a seven star crystal, a seven star, six star crystal, but there's this wonderful glow around it. That's because if you check it, it is a seven star. You may be wondering how on earth do I encounter seven star raids, Ragtag? Egg? Egg? I'm glad you asked this. During certain times that I'm the Pokemon company will hold various different raid events. At the time I'm recording this, this, this is near the tail end of the Primarita raid. Which, um, usually the seven star raids usually last for about two weeks. It's, um, usually around on Friday to, sa to Sunday, so pretty much the weekends. Ah, uh, they are the strongest raids you can encounter in the game. Ah, uh, because these raid bosses not only have the highest amount of boosted health of any raid, but they also are at level 100. Keep in mind that 6 star raid Pokemons are at level 75. So you cannot just go in here with any random ass Pokemon and hope to win it. You actually want to go into these raids with very specific builds. If you're doing it solo or with a group, even with preferably with friends or with randos online. So for the project, if a 7 star raid is going on, I will do my best to try and get it into uh, the record it into an episode. So I got a build here that is supposedly supposed to be very reliable for soloing it, so let's see how this goes. Um, if you don't see this episode, then obviously obviously I didn't go well. Oh well in any of the attempts, and I'll probably have to do another episode. Uh, keep redoing this episode until I hopefully get it. So anyway, let's try this raid. Also, depending on the partner Pokemon I get uh, for, for this raid, it could be beneficial. Yeah, but yeah, the seven star raids, they are very powerful. They use, they always have their hidden abilities. So keep that in mind when you're doing seven star raids. The seven star raid Pokemon will always have their hidden ability. Um, which is the case for Primarita is Liquid Voice, which turns all normal moves into water type moves. Okay, Intimidate, that's not the best thing to have, because Primaria is primarily a special attacker. Thanks to Water Solve and Liquid Voice, I cannot be hit by Sing. The only time I can remotely get hit by Sing is when it does when it takes away my stat buffs and my ability for and especially my ability for the turn. My Vaporeon is primarily going to be doing most of the work. Oh, that's not what I want to have drop. That's going to slow me down. I just redo this raid because holy shit I am getting unlucky with the stat drops if it drops for a third time I might do a restart of this raid because at some point I need to max out my special attack and for it to be like yeah I'm just gonna take away your um your special attack two times all right, didn't get anybody with an encore. Oh, 
Also, I hit it with three mud slaps, by the way, so it should, moves should not be very accurate. So I need to do two more um, calm mines because it took away two of my special attack. for the heal. Alright, that should be my first, so I should have one stat boost. So I need to do it five more times. my final calm mine and hoping the damage I could deal could make up for the time I lost cheer for an all out get that extra damage and now it's just uh, Terra Blast until I win. Yeah, your thing is useless against me, Primarita. Quickly catching up to that timer. Yeah, your water moves are useless. I have the advantage due to water as or I just realized one of the NPCs here is named Austin. Is that supposed to be a reference to the actual YouTuber Austin John? Because this is one of his Austin's main Pokemon is an Arcanine. Or at least the mascot of his channel and we break the shield. I'm gonna have to look into that later. That would actually be a cool reference if that is supposed to be a reference to that YouTuber. Few more Terra Blasts and we have it in the bag.
Ooh, for once it actually she decided to use an attack that could hurt me. A little bit too late for that. And we've bagged Primarito the Unrivaled. Alright, what should I capture you in? Oh, uh, let me see. I caught it in a Electric Ball in my own time, so how about I catch you in a, in a Lure Ball? Special Pokeball. Ah, oh, I didn't get. Uh, I was hoping I would get some herbers from this, and I didn't get any. Let's see, you got an ability patch, bottle cap, comet shot. This is not too bad. Really hoping so, for some herbas. Anyway, we got ourselves Primarita. Right, so, what is this item over here? Max revive, so let's take a look at it. Female, just as the way I like my pilgrim readers. Look at that stat ad, and if I switch the graph view, it doesn't have any IVs. But it gets this mark, the mightiest mark, a mark for especially mighty Pokemon, Primarita the Unrivaled. And I think I'll actually give this Primarita... Hang on, how do I... There, change nickname? I'll actually name this Primarita, so give me a moment. And I'm nicknaming this Primarita Melody. After um, Primarita that I that I've used in the past and also have named as a character. Character character on a site I go to with my friends. But anyway, we got Melody. I think I will name some of the other seven star raid Pokemon in the project when they pop up. Yeah, but with that, we are done. So in the next episode, I think we'll go back to the school for a little bit. If you enjoyed this episode, do you like the videos? It helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts of this episode. And share the video so that way more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. And I'll see you all next time. Later.